In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, add some thickness to a bowl or spoon um, by using the solidify and subdivide surface. So this is kind of what I'm going to make for you guys, uh, this, this little bowl area uh, and everything. So to get started, I'm just in a brand new document. I've already deleted the, the circle or the, the um, cube that comes up normally. And I'm going to go ahead and get into a straight view to start. So I'll go ahead and just do a front view. And if I want this to be a straight on view, I'm going to go ahead and change it from view to perspective or on my number pad, I can press uh, F5. I'm going to start out with add mesh and I'm going to go to a UV sphere. And if you want to make it a little bit more uh, give it more segments and rings, you can do that at the very beginning. And there's other ways to do that uh, later on. So what I need to do with this is I need to cut off part of it and uh, just make it into a bowl. So probably one of the easier ways to do this is uh, to first go into edit mode. And then I need to kind of see through it so I can select it correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose wireframe on my keyboard. And I'm going to press A is a hotkey to select all and also to deselect. Right now I want to deselect, and then I want to block select the top and delete it. So I'm going to press the letter B on my keyboard, and then left mouse click and drag to select the vertices that I want to get rid of, and then go ahead and press X, and I want to delete vertices, and that'll give me uh, this, this bowl shape. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and go back into solid mode. So the problem right now is I have this bowl that is very thin. It's paper thin. So um, I'm going to go and jump into modifiers. So on your uh, sidebar over here, you've got this little wrench icon that you can click on. And go to add modifier. And I'm going to go down to the solidify. So when I go ahead and click on that, you can see it did a little bit, but I need to add a little bit more thickness by just kind of clicking on that. And you can kind of make it as thick as you want. And you can also type or drag uh, to get. So I think that's about what I'm going to go for. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click apply just to complete that. So if I click apply in edit mode, it's not going to do it for me. So I need to actually go into object mode and go ahead and click apply. And if I were to jump back into edit mode, you could now see that there's more geometry uh, in there. Uh, to smooth it out a little bit, I'll go ahead and just add another modifier. So add modifier and go to sub subdivision surface. And I'm just going to bump that up to two views. And I'll go ahead and get out of this mode. And there you can see it a little bit smoother uh, and everything. I'll go ahead and click apply on that to finish that as well. So that's probably one of the simpler ways to create a bowl. You could also flatten the bottom if you needed to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the same technique to create a spoon. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click uh, Duplicate Objects. And you can press X, Y, or Z to pull it along a certain axis. And to create a spoon, I'm going to go ahead and squash this. So I'll grab the um, Transform Manipulator and just kind of pull that, squish it a little bit, bring this down. Uh, to kind of get this little spoon. So from here, I, I've got multiple options where I could actually take this and pull out something. I could also grab a cube and put that out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just first scale it down by pressing S uh, so my spoon's not so ginormous. And I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode. And in edit mode, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, look at a little bit closer and then from there I could come in and just select some of my faces so and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and select some faces and then go ahead and get into one of my straight views that I can see it straight on. So press A to deselect and I can either just select the individual pieces or I might just do a block select by pressing B uh, to select the pieces that I want to pull out. So B, and then I'll go ahead and click and drag to select some of my faces that I want to pull out. Uh, so once I get that, I'm just going to go ahead and press E to extrude. And then E to extrude again. 
if I want to press S to scale to kind of give it a little bit more to it, E to extrude, S to scale that up, and then E to extrude again. So you can do all kinds of weird uh, designs with your, your spoon uh, and everything. So and right now I'm getting a little, I'm getting it coming down a little bit too much, so I think I'll go into um, wireframe mode and go ahead and select that and kind of try and pull it up a little bit so I can press B to select all those vertices and then I can start to kind of pull it up or better than that I probably should just come in here and try and rotate uh, a little bit so B to do the block select again and then I'll go ahead and try and rotate that up a little bit and pull that up. And, and in this, right now, what's kind of happening, I'm getting it to kind of work. I probably should have rotated before I pulled the whole thing out, and then I wouldn't get this thing to um, come at this slope at me. So, um, but that's that's kind of the basics of how you would do uh, a little spoon and a bowl in Blender.